what's good y'all welcome back to another vlog man i am on my way to work it is extremely hot it's 112 degrees but i have a surprise for y'all i got a surprise for y'all <laughs> i cut my hair for the third time y'all i cut my hair for the third time and let me tell you why so i cut my hair because the way that it was growing and the thickness of it is just not what I wanted and I couldn't do much with it which is why I always had it braided up so I cut my hair just to restart the the length process and to possibly like palm twist it and make them a little thinner and that's just what I wanted to do so um yeah this is me and uh a long time ago i had locks when i was i started my first lock journey when i was in college right about 2010 and i grew my hair out for like nine years it was super super long if you remember if you've been following me for that long um and then i cut them and i combed them out because i just wanted a fresh start of you know energy so i, I started them again they got to about like right here and then I didn't like how those was growing out. Like they, they were, I wasn't wearing anything on my head. So they were growing out like flat and I didn't like that. So I combed them out and then I started them again. And then, you know, they started growing or whatever. And then it's this time and they, then I cut them. So uh, I don't think I'm going to cut my hair again, but it's just like something, I don't know. One day I want my hair this way. The next day I want it another way. And it's my hair and it's hair it clearly grows right back so this is what i wanted to do my wife just cut her hair uh and she and her hair grows really really fast and she has uh like neck length hair and it looks amazing it looks amazing so um don't be scared do what you want to do man it's hair it grows back know some people want a different look some people want a different style or a different color man just do whatever you want to do man don't let nobody make you feel bad about your decisions if you're not hurting nobody and you're not hurting yourself you're good to go i might even add some color too i want to have some fun with it um so yeah but i gotta figure all of that out but uh i used to have this thing about me where i was like i hate how i look with short hair but I don't feel that way anymore. I was just being so like self-conscious about myself when in, in reality, I look great. So um, just have that confidence within yourself. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. But with all that being said, I am headed to work, man. I gotta work a seven hour shift today. I was off for two days and um, I'm starting to get that unfortunate feeling of like, I don't wanna go to work. I don't feel like going to work. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather do something at home, like on a computer, not just to be like stuck in the house, but I just personally don't like to be around a lot of people. And two, standing up all day is not good for my body. So I kinda wanna find something maybe remote or maybe something else, even sitting down not around so many people so i got some things to to look up not to think about because that's for sure what i want to do but some things to look up and try to find something drop a comment down below if you got any ideas for me i would greatly appreciate it um, but with that being said man i am about to pull up to work so i'm gonna try to get some footage inside if i can hopefully it's not too busy today but it might be due to it being sunday and also thinking that's why they wanted me to come in so early. But if not, I'll see y'all on my break. I got some lovely lasagna that I made last night. Uh, me and my wife and my mother-in-law, we tore it down. It's only a little bit left. My wife loved me. So I brought that. She packed my lunch for me. So yeah, I'll see y'all on my break. And we'll have some more to talk about. Because something always happens. Something, not necessarily bad, but something always happens especially when you're around so many people. So I'll get back to y'all on my break, man. But make sure y'all hitting that subscribe button, man. Make sure y'all liking this video, man. Drop a positive comment for me. And I'll see y'all later.
All right, y'all, on my break, on my 30-minute break, man. So today, I when I came in, I was doing that outside crap again I did the first day that was hurting my body. I did it for like an hour. And maybe, no, I did it for like two hours. And then I went on my 15-minute break, and then I came back and was like, can I come up to the cash registers? And um, the lady was like, sure. So I started. So then I went to the register because I was over this in and out outside for one it's 108 degrees right now and they better hope nobody over there pass out but yeah i had i had went to register so now i'm doing that right now but i am gotta find something else man but i just had lunch i just had lasagna i made last night and it was bus i got like i probably got 15 minutes left of my break i was on the phone with kaylee um, but yeah, man, I'm tired. I'm ready to go home already. I'm off tomorrow, though, so I'm trying to thug it out. I got like three more hours, but y'all pray for me, man. Pray for me. Second break, y'all. I am exhausted. I got an hour left, but I am exhausted, man. I shouldn't be feeling like this. But I am grateful. I am grateful. I probably sound just like a like I'm nagging but I'm grateful but one more hour and I'm gone all right y'all I know it's kind of dark I'm on my way home just finished work and I'm off tomorrow I'm hot I am tired back hurt this ain't what it's supposed to be about man um, I'm not even hungry Surprise me. I just need a shower and watch a good movie. So I guess I'm gonna do that and I'll get with y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to the vlog. I am tired. Yeah, I got a new little do rag thing for my hair, too. Try to keep it as healthy as possible. But um, I just came on here real quick to share with y'all that I just did my Bible study. I did my Bible study. I got this book called Experiencing God. And it's like a daily, it's like daily things you can do and you can write in it and stuff. So it's super cool. But today, today's uh, message was about um, having faith, making adjustments, um, and following God. So uh, you might be feeling like, stuck in a certain situation um and you just can't figure out like why why things aren't getting better they're not getting worse but they're just staying the same um god wants you to make some adjustments that only you know you know what i'm saying what those adjustments are and uh he wants you to make some adjustments so you're ready uh for the next chapter that he has for you and uh you make you have faith you make those adjustments and then you follow god you can't be doing the same thing that you've been doing and still follow god and it also um talks about how a rich person is let is less likely to go to heaven and follow god than a camel walking through a needle stack or something like that but what i got out of it is of course money makes the world go around but money is not everything. To some people, money is a God. You can't love money and love God, have the same love for God. So you either have to pick one or the other. Um, so there's people out here, these millionaires and these billionaires, and all they want is more and more and more and more money. You should want more and more and more and more of God, okay? Because that's what it's about. You, you can have the money and the, and the riches right now on earth, but none of this stuff is forever. That relationship and that life with the Lord is going to last eternal. Okay, so make sure you got things in order and your mental as well. Not saying go broke and live in a box. Not saying that, but don't put all your focus so much that you're worrying and you're stressing out about not having this or not having that. Because once you make those adjustments and you have God... You have all that you need. He's going to make a way. He's going to make it happen, and you ain't going to know how it happened. All right? So just get your faith together. Make those adjustments when he's talking to you. Don't ignore him. Make those adjustments and follow God. All right, man? Make sure y'all subscribing, and I'll see y'all in the next video.